Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All, Educational Videos channel. We are continuing with learning Scratch, we are continuing with learning Scratch blocks. And in this video today, I'm going to try to explain you how and when to use Scratch block, which is named Join. Uh, let's go to Scratch to see that in action. Uh, that was green block, so it means it is one of the operators block. So click on the green circle to open the operators block and try to find join block it's one of the last blocks then click and drag it to your right coding window uh, uh, again this uh, block is oval it's um, like some kind of circle uh, uh, bend circle shaped uh, so uh, that means you can you cannot attach it to other blocks up uh, or down uh, but you have to put that block in a specific oval field which is like this one into ask into this say or in length of or you can duplicate this join and put one join into another so uh, in short you have to put it in some kind of empty oval field that's the first thing you have to remember about it I mean, you don't even have to remember, you can just see by examining and experimenting. Uh, so that's it. And the second thing is that we have actually two fields in this join block. So you can add two, two fields into it. And that's something, something I think we haven't seen before uh, earlier. So that's something new for us. Uh, but let's see what this block does if i click on it it will say join uh it will say apple banana because we have uh, two words here apple and banana and if i type like number 13 and 56 i will have uh, 1356 so they are joined together so uh, again you can try with some other words without any meaning it will work i, I think yeah So in short, uh, this block is uh, used for connect for connecting two or more um, words, numbers, or other blocks and other items. What do I mean by other blocks? Well, let's see if I move this a little bit to my right and zoom a little bit more. Um, I will detach, or maybe not. I will just. Um, try this block which we have explained earlier say uh, hello my name is Anina what's your name and then we were supposed to answer uh, scratch cat if we answer scratch cat girl will say cool pleased to meet you and if we answer something else she would say that's a really strange name are you sure Okay, so that was good enough for our game uh, in that period of time. But what uh, happens, for example, if you are working uh, on a bigger game or, for example, for some game studio or something like that. So you have some kind of uh, boss over you, some kind of um, game designer. And he says, okay, that's cool, but we don't need that anymore. I want the girl to ask to say hello my name is Anina and ask for the player's name but I don't want this block here I don't want uh, the only answer to be the scratch cat and so if the answer is scratch cat the girl would say cool if not she would say really strange no we don't need that we need something else we, I want uh, this I will just type it here uh, let me type to analyze problem i want girl to ask cat for her name and then gre greet the cat with its name uh, so in short uh, 
uh, that's our problem that's our idea for the game uh, i want that's what your boss says to you i want the girl to ask the cat for her for cat's name sorry and then greet the cat with its name so uh, for example if the cat's name is uh, i don't know johnny she would say hi uh, cool johnny please uh, cool please to meet you johnny if his name uh, was um, Jerry, she would say, okay, cool, please to meet you, Jerry, and so on. So we want uh, uh, the girl to uh, act like a real person and a smart person which remembers things and uh, we don't want uh, her uh, to have only one possible answer, but we want, uh, because we will have different players in our game with different real world names, we want the girl to greet every player with its own original original real world name so how to do it okay we have this i will detach this we don't need it anymore stop it and we have this this this, this works fine hello my name is anina what's your name so this works fine girl is asking cat for cat's name and that's what we wanted but we need to define this other resolve this other part of the problem which says greet the cat with its name so greet means uh, say uh, say okay so i need say i will say cool place to meet you but here is the problem i don't want to say scratch cat i want to say player's name Mm, so how to do it well let's think about it uh, uh, the girl will say hello my name is Anina it will ask for cat's name then the cat or to be precise player will type here so for example Johnny Johnny with 2h or 2n I don't know anyway uh, so this is player's name so now the girl should say cool please to meet you johnny but we don't know how to do that okay we have learned so far that when we type the answer here in this box here blah 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 that whatever we type here will be transferred into this answer so if we have question ask answer to that question which we write into into this field here will be memorized into this answer so that's cool so if we write jerry jerry will be transferred it will be written in this scratch block answer so i just have to somehow to put this answer here into it okay this even works so let's try it let's see what will happen hello what's your name jerry and she says jerry cool so this answer is actually the answer to this question so that's cool but we had problem she's only saying jerry i don't want that i want her to say cool please to meet you jerry how to do it well that's where this join can be used instead of just uh just uh, y you can use it just to combine two or more words simple li like that but you can also use it to combine uh, some more complex things and make some more complex sentences which are actually uh, dynamic that's called dynamic interactive why because when i put this answer here into the second field and when i type here cool place to meet you and then put all of this into it what do we have here now let me zoom into it we uh, the girl will say two things cool place to meet you and after that she will say the answer and the answer to this question was what jerry or it can be something else it can be tom it can be bob 
whatever the answer for this question is it will be here and it will be joined with our sentence let's see if that works hello my name is Anim what's your name let's type Bob cool pleased to meet you Bob so th this is great this works fr from the start uh, the only problem I have is that two, uh, two of these words, you and answer, are uh, like glued together. I need some space between them, so I will just click again into this field for text and uh, press spacebar to make space. And now we will have space, and now I will try with this, some other name, with Tom. What's your name, Tom? Cool, pleased to meet you, Tom. So you see how this becomes interactive. It looks much, much smarter. So uh, interactive and fun and more interesting and fun to play. So if you have some guy somewhere which is named Bob playing at home, he could type here answer to uh, this question, Bob, other Tom, and every time this game will act like it's actually listening to him. So that's one way to use join. As I said, you can go wild with it, uh, as with every other scratch block. So wherever you see those oval shapes, just go wild. You can go crazy. I don't recommend going cra <laughs> crazy. I don't recommend going crazy with scratch blocks and and in general. But uh, you can do it. You can. Uh, I'm just trying to show you that you can uh, experiment as much as you want. That's it for this video. I hope it was uh, kind of faster than previous one and you have learned one way to use the join block. Uh, it's up to you to learn and experiment with it and learn other ways and share that knowledge with your friends and family and neighbors and <laughs> enemies and what whoever you want. Uh, just keep on learning, keep on sharing. I will do the same. Uh, and uh, I also have some kind of problems with uh, learning about um, um, uh, setting my channel uh, uh, videos audience because we have uh, YouTube uh, has some kind of uh, changes in uh, uh, when you upload videos you have to say is it for kids or adults and I think these uh, videos are uh, suitable for kids and adults also but you cannot have both of those worlds in YouTube terms, I don't know why, or I cannot uh, make it myself. Maybe I'm wrong, wrong in something. I will check it out also later, read it uh, again in more details. But it looks kind of uh, stupid and and not really uh, practical. So if uh, I will probably um, uh, tag these uh, videos as. Uh, kids for kids because they uh, are uh, for kids I guess for like uh, five or six years old up to teenagers but they are not only for them they are for older people you can be I don't know grandfather grandmother and learn programming and win scratch it would be great to start with it or some uh, guy who wants to enter the gaming industry he can uh, start with scratch no no limits so that's that's the state of my uh, channel so far and thanks for watching again uh, i don't want to bother you with those kind of stupidities uh, see you in next video bye for now